Hey guys, welcome back to our second Homebound episode. I'm Nathan and I'm the director of the Aves News Network, so you don't usually see me on camera, but today I'm going to be the anchor. Um, I hope you enjoyed last week's episode. We've got a lot of great stuff for this week, but before we get into some of our segments, we have a couple of announcements and stuff that have come up in the last week. Um, starting Monday, until we go back to school, we will be following a block schedule for online learning. So on Monday and Wednesday, you will be responsible for your odd bell classes, and Tuesday and Thursday, your even bell classes. Um, Friday will be an office hour day, so you'll be able to get direct help from any of your teachers during their office hours. Um, your teachers will let you know what is involved and what you're responsible for for each class through Blackboard, so make sure you check before the week starts. Um, the rest of the semester will also be on a pass-fail grading scale. Um, more information about this as a system has not been released yet, but make sure you stay on the lookout for that. Your counselors are still available by email. Please don't hesitate to reach out to them for anything. If you want to make a change to your original course selections back, back when we did that in February, um, you have until May 15th to do so, so you need to contact your counselor in order to make those changes. Be on the lookout for emails from the district for any other changes and information for the next couple weeks, all right? Now let's head into some of our segments, starting off with Carson's challenge of the week. Hey guys, it is Carson here. So I have to introduce this week's question. Uh, I, as you guys saw probably on my Instagram, uh, I actually sent out a question on Wednesday, uh, which was actually April Fool's Day, so happy late April Fool's Day, by the way. Uh, the question was, what happens to chemists when they die? And I got a couple responses. However, the answer was they bury them, uh, which is a chemical compound. I'm referring to the chemical pound, compound that you can find on the periodic table of elements. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Now, I bet you don't know what day today is. I don't know either. Sam and Clover, please let us know. Hey, everybody, I'm Clover. And I'm Sam. This week is National Joe Day. Uh, can, let's see if these people know these three Joes. Let's go. Hi, Hi, we have Ryan, we have Ryan here. What's up, Ryan? Not much, not much. Okay. How about you? Oh, nothing much. Uh, tell me if you can name this Joe. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Joe is awkward. Ryan. That is not correct. Hi, Ryan. That's unfortunate. Let's see if you can name this Joe. James, who is that Joe? Buscemi. That's not correct. Confused. No, no! What's up, Patrick? Hi. Guess this person. <laughs> Who's that Joe? Joe Fieri. Nope, the answer is Joe Exotic. Thanks for playing. Oh, this was a success. If your name isn't Joe, I'm honestly disappointed. Happy Joe Day! Okay, we're done. Now let's get a glimpse into the daily schedule of one of our students. Whole team's pushing me now. Wait, no. No, can I get some help? No. Bro. Lastly, washing your hands correctly is very important. Dr. Harmon, show us how. Hello, and welcome to my bathroom. This week, I'm going to be showing you how to correctly wash my hands. So, I'm washing my hands according to steps from the CDC. Okay, step one. Turn on the water and rinse your hands off. It does not matter if you use warm or cold water. You don't have to burn your hands off. Whatever you want is fine. And then you rinse your hands. And then you turn off the sink to save water. But don't turn it off with your hands. And then get soap. And lather your hands and for 20 seconds. If it helps, you can hum or sing the happy birthday song in your head. And make sure you're washing every single crevice of your hands and really getting in there for 20 seconds. Just a reminder, make sure you sing, I didn't mention it earlier, make sure you sing happy birthday song twice so it takes up 20 seconds. All right, and then turn the sink back on. You can use your hand if you want. And then 
rinse your hands. It doesn't matter how long, just make sure you get all the soap off. And then now that your hands are clean, you don't want to touch the dirty handle. So turn it off like however way you want without your hands. So I'm just my elbow. And then dry off your hands. However you want, you can air dry them, it doesn't matter. And if you are in the bathroom, do not open the door. Don't grab the door handle with your clean hands. But the door is open, so I don't have to worry about that. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stay safe. That's all we have for you this week. Uh, be on the lookout for our episode next week. And I hope you guys all have a great week. See you later.